Hey guys, Marsing in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we're going to be looking at the Int Pandel with her EZA, obviously full level 10 links. Uh, her sticker effect is probably the most disappointing one. I don't know whether it's her or Bullpan, because hers is just the heart so you can see flashing. I guess that's probably slightly better than just a couple of weird blue wispy lines like the bullpen one. But yeah, not very good in terms of the sticker effect. Uh, she's unfortunately, like Karoli, only got six links, which is a little bit disappointing. I really wish they would use easy A's for these characters to give them that extra link. I don't see any reason why they can't do that. But for some reason, they have not yet. And it seems like I guess they won't. But maybe one day, huh? So... Her super attack is the Maiden Blast Extreme. It does supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense. So that's going to be something that will be useful when we take all of these new units into uh, Super Battle Road. And then she gets attack and defense 150 at the start of the turn. She gives all allies attack and defense 30%. And then she gets attack and defense 10% and chance of evading enemy supers, including super attacks, 7% per fusion category ally on the team so bear in mind we're running a full fusion team so we have seven units so she's getting an extra 70 percent um attack and defense and then what set oh man 49 percent dodge chance which is pretty decent so let's go ahead and see what she's like here so just like bullpan her best link partner on a fusion team other than bullpan is uh go tanks and ghost i mentioned this in the bullpan video already but they are kind of each other's best link partner, but I wanted to showcase them separately, uh, mainly just for people who obviously only have one and not the other. But it'll be interesting to see them together when we do do the Fusions Super Battle Road run. So with the 150 at the start of the turn and then the buff from being on a full Fusion team, she's on 161k defense. Now, obviously that's not very good. She doesn't raise defense on super attack. But on this team, she is having almost a 50% chance to dodge. And then obviously you couple that with the fact that she's an int unit. So she's got free level 5 dodge. Um, dodge is... She's one of those support units that even after her EZA, she hasn't exactly gotten like super crazy defensively. So a lot of dodge is probably still one of the better routes to go in terms of her hidden potential because even if you give her like a load of crit she's not really going to be doing a lot of damage additionals could be useful for the extra attack lowering in something like super battle road but yeah she's definitely one of those even after her easy a she still kind of follows the old school like support unit blueprint where really she's just not very good defensively but she's there to provide that big buff to everybody else on the team so uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, can't get a super for you, but I imagine um, the tech, Goku and Vegeta in slot 1, are just going to finish him off here with their 12 key super. Yeah, 2.2 mil. We'll probably take him out here. But yeah, so Pandel is obviously going to be used more so as a third slot floating unit. Um, when we do these solo showcases, I always keep them on rotation just to sort of see how they will get on. But So we've been rotation locked straight away. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rotation locking and then let's see if Pandel can actually get the dodges off in this uh, in this turn here with that dodge chance that she has. So let's go ahead and do this and let's see. Can we get the dodges from Pandel? No. And there's one. So we get one out of the two. That I guess lives up to the 50% chance, right? We dodged 50% of the attacks. And then 2.1 mil and she did get the crit as well. So not bad damage. But really her main role, of course, is just going to be the third slot floating support unit, right? Because she's giving 30% attack and defense. I'm pretty sure pre easy a she only gave attack. So nowadays support units really do need to give both. And so that's going to allow a lot of these other units to hit much, much harder. I mean, like Int Gogeta here, not his best rotation linked up with that Gotenks and Ghost. But obviously he's benefiting from getting all of that extra uh, attack and defense from Pandel so you think about like when we would run on like a normal setup we've got like this rotation for example with the two LRs together Pandel will float nicely into slot three and give them that 30% extra attack and defense while still having all right defense and the almost 50% chance to dodge which is going to be pretty good for harder content until you start talking about like the legendary Goku and Vegeta events because obviously when you get to the final stage you're no longer able to dodge. And so um, 
you know, then I don't think it's... In those kind of events, I would honestly say it's probably not worth bringing her at all. Because without her having that dodge chance, her defense is just not high enough for uh, her to survive. Uh, even like normal attacks, she's going to take tons of damage without an item active. So her giving that 30% extra attack and defense is probably not really worth it for the sacrifice of extra items. And then even then, if you get like really bad RNG, um, even with like a Whis active, you think about like the legendary Vegeta event. Even with a Whis active, this panda will get absolutely demolished by the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Final Flash. So definitely a decent unit for the fusion team for medium difficulty content. And Super Battle Road is going to be interesting because you can dodge, she can attack lower. So that's where like additionals will come in really handy because obviously if she can get double supers... Not only is she attack lowering the enemy, because obviously you'd ideally target any enemies that are attacking her. So she's going to double attack lower the enemy, and she's got that almost 50% chance to dodge. She's providing everyone else on the rotation with support. And obviously in that kind of situation on Super Battle Road, you can just get the other two units on rotation to go after the units that are going to be attacking her. And uh, try and sort of turn down the threat for her at the end of the turn a little bit. So she did dodge both the attacks at the start of this turn. So definitely uh, a good showing from her there. Um, but yeah, she's kind of similar to Bullpan in that she's not putting out like a crazy attack stat. We've seen her sit roughly at around 2 million. She's not terrible for a support unit. But her defense is definitely not great. And Bullpan makes up for that with the chance to guard. And she makes up for that with the chance to dodge. So the only problem, of course, like I say, is in more difficult content, uh, Bullpan is obviously still going to be able to guard, potentially. Whereas um, Pandel is obviously not going to be able to dodge. So that is definitely going to have an effect in that more difficult content. So Pandel is the much better support unit, but Bullpan seems to be just that little bit better uh, in terms of how she sort of holds her own as a solo unit with the guard. Her defense is not super high either, but if the guard goes off, then it's good. Whereas, obviously, Pandel... I mean, they're both in the same boat, right? Where if the guard or the dodge doesn't go off, then their defense is not really enough to tide them over in more difficult content. But, I mean, she's doing okay, right? Like, we're getting lucky with the dodges, for the most part. Um, so, let's go ahead and give you this. Because the other problem... I said this in the bullpen video, if you haven't seen that one already. But the... Uh, the fusion team doesn't have the best selection of support units. Um, obviously in Super Battle Road we can run that STR Super Saiyan Go Tanks that gives support if there's multiple enemies. But yeah, 161k defense. Now that we're starting to get a bit deeper into the event, her not dodging an attack is going to be uh, resulting in a significant amount of damage. Double digits off the normal still though. So we're obviously not super far through this event, but once we get to like the real dose at the end, her not dodging is definitely going to be um, pretty risky. But, I mean, hey, she dodged two out of the three attacks. She took double digits off of the other one. So, in terms of her performance so far, she's definitely been good in this stage. Now, obviously, this is the Black Star Dragon Ball's Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. It's not the hardest event in the game by any stretch. Um, but she's able to hold her own here. So, obviously, there are missions for some of these stages to do, like, a fusion team. Fusion team is obviously where she is going to be the most useful. Let's go ahead and fuse with Gogeta here. Oh yeah, we've got a super attack in slot 1, so we definitely want to go ahead and do this. Not have the type disadvantage. Gogeta's at least got some damage reduction. Uh, he's going to get the Dokon attack here as well. So we're going to take a bit of damage in the first slot here, and then we're basically just going to get all of it back with the super attack from Gogeta. So yeah, 140k is not really too bad. We probably get the KO with the Dokon attack here. Because we're effective against all types, we have the chance to crit build in 4.1 million attacks that. Not too crazy, So obviously he's not the best link partner for these guys. At least he has Super Saiyan now, so they're sharing a few links. Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, so should be a pretty decent dope on attack here. we got all the nodes, so should be GG for this phase here, I think. Yeah, 6.6 .6 million without the crit. <laughs> There's the KO screen, so... Alright, we're against the tech enemy now, so the super attack is going to be in slot 1. So let's go ahead and see if uh, Pandel is actually going to dodge the super attack in slot 1 here. So we'll grab these for you, grab these for Gotenks, um, and how are we looking? Come on, Pandel, are you going to deliver? 
She doesn't dodge. So 41k, even with type advantage. We're starting to get to the stages now where we're going to be taking a little bit more damage if we're not getting these dodges. So normal attack probably, yeah, still does double digits because we have type advantage. But that's always the worst, right? When you like, It's always like what people complain about with uh, AGL, UI, Goku in Super Battle Road. His units having a dodge chance is all well and good until the only attack they don't dodge on the turn is the super attack. <laughs> So, that is a little bit unfortunate. I mean, her dodge chance is good. Like I say, it's almost 50% on a full fusion team. But, uh, you know what? Let's put Gogeta in. Actually, no. We're not even going to get a chance to counter a super attack, are we? Because Tech Gogeta is either going to kill him or in Gogeta will then actually finish him off. So, we'll go ahead and finish up here. Um, I guess we'll see one last turn with Bullpan. I want to see what the enemy is going to be. If the next enemy is not Tech... Then we'll get a reasonable um, look at what sort of damage she takes from either type neutral or type disadvantage. I don't think the next enemy is physical. But I love seeing this Gogeta's 12 key super. You very rarely see it. And of course it is completely, uh, I don't not fan made, but it's like completely original. I think it's taken from one of the games. Because um, obviously Gogeta <laughs> basically only does his 18 key super in the movie. So... They had to come up with something else for the 12 key. But I think he looks really cool. Because he gets so much extra key so easily. It's very difficult to not get his 18 key super. So you don't really get to see the uh, 12 key all that often. So let's see what we're going to take from the normal attacks here. And we'll do this as the last turn for uh, Pandel. Uh, Gotenks and Ghost are going to get hit with a super. Which is not ideal. But they do raise defense on super attack. They could get killed potentially. But we'll do this as the final turn here. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, Pandel, what have you got for me? Are you going to dodge? No dodge. Still double digit damage though. So, that's actually pretty decent. But, again, when you're getting to like the later stages of the <laughs> Goku or Vegeta events, it's not going to be uh, looking like that if you're not getting those dodges. And then in the final stage, that's where you're going to be in a spot of trouble. So, I mean, if we do take a lot of damage on Gotenks and Ghost here and we don't die, oh, they're just going to dodge. <laughs> I was going to say, then we'll get the fusion for the physical Gogeta on the other turn and have both the LR Gogetas out together. So, kind of actually would have been better for him to have taken that super attack in terms of the overall team performance. But it is what it is. So, let's go ahead and let Gogeta attack here and we will end the video. So, let me know what you guys think of Pandel. Um, decent support unit, not the best defense. Would you use her on your fusion team? Let me know your thoughts on her down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one